He's got it. Got him. Got him. Oh my. That's a giant. That's a giant, dude. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Hoosier State Fishing. Today, it's gonna be a quick little video. We're at this little tiny little spillway creek at an undisclosed location. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump on the hashtag Team Trees bandwagon. The challenge is gonna be for every fish that I catch, I'm gonna donate $1 and then to kind of compound that for every bowfin that I catch, I'm gonna donate $5. So hopefully I at least catch one fish. We'll see how it goes. So anyway, guys, you've probably seen a lot of the, a lot of the YouTubers, the big guys, you know, Mr. Beast, Mark Rober. Mr. Beast, I think is the one that started it, but this Team Tree thing the challenge is to is to plant 20 million trees before January 1st of 2020 and last time I checked they're already up to like like almost 9 million trees which is insane he's got a bunch of big wigs jumping on board I think Elon Musk has jumped on board just a lot of different really big youtubers so I'm tiny I have a little bitty channel but I figured hey man it's trending it's a really cool topic it's a really cool cause I like trees so why not jump on the bandwagon so let's get in here I don't have much time this is just gonna be a real short video hopefully short and we're just gonna see what we can do like I said one fish is one dollar unless it's a bowfin oh I just had a hit bowfin equals two, uh, $5. So, I just had a really good hit. Let's just shut up and fish. I didn't let him have it long enough. Did you see that? There was one gasping for air right there. Let's get her reeled in. Go right back to where we were. If I can get there, that was close enough. Oh, there was a hit. Yeah, he's got it. Does he have it? Dude, they are active, yes. The one just came up for air. I just had a really good hit. Figured this would be a pretty cool challenge. I was trying to think of a way to incorporate the Team Trees thing into a, into a fishing video. Just kind of off the top of my head figured I could try to, oh, that was a good hit. Got him. That was a good hit. What is this? It feels like a bowfin. Yep, it is. It's a nice one. We're going to bowfin flip this mother. <laughs> There's $5, baby. That's a big one, dude. Get in there. Oh, no. Watch his teeth. Oh, look at him moving like a, he's moving like a snake, dude. Oh no! Let's let him go. Torpedo. So that's $5. I could end up catching like 10 and then make my wife really happy. So here's what I'm using. It's the power bait. It's called the uh, the Jester, designed by Mike Iconelli. I really like this bait, especially for Tokyo rigs. I learned, I saw him Tokyo rig it one day. He was fishing the river on his uh, channel. He slayed some smallies in cold weather and they uh, they have a really good, good action. Just a really good all around creature style bait. Let's go over there and see if we can get another one. For these bowfin on this rod here, I've got, I've got 17 pound fluorocarbon, a little, uh, I think it's a three eighths ounce weight. And then, you know, a little four aught hook could be a three aught on a little creature bait come down here hopefully not scare the fish away something just tapped it something's got it oh I missed him little guy ah leaves the joys of fall fishing Let's see if we can't come over here on the other side and try to get on some fish now I can fish on the opposite side and not get in the way of Kyle Looks like something waked over there farther. Just saw one surface for air right there. Just got a hit. Yep, he's there. Oh, he, oh, I let go of it. Son of a. Mm. Hopefully, he didn't get hooks. I can't just be catching one fish, dude. This is ridiculous. What am I stepping on here? Not sure. Gotta get back there, man. There we go. That's a fish right there, baby. Come on. Come on! That's the that's the cash right there. Come on, I can get one more fish before we gotta leave. I know we can do it. Over that log, let it sink. Come on. There's gotta be something. There's a hit. Does he have it? Does he have it? He's got it. Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him, got him, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my God, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, that's a giant, that's a giant, dude. I got, I'm coming over there. Holy cow, dude, I think that fish might be worth, that might be worth 10, bro. That's the prettiest fish I've seen out of here too. Oh my, that's definitely my personal best. This is going to be tricky because I do not want to drop him in the water. I should have left him on the hook. This is going to be tricky because I do not want to drop him. Is 
dude. That's, the, that's my best one. Dude, let's let this guy go, man. Definitely my best bow fin. Oh yeah, wow. Dude, thank you. Okay guys, Kyle had to leave. I've got to leave too, to be honest. But I think we can probably get one more. We've got 10 bucks donated so far. I don't know, I'm, I'll have to watch the footage over again, but that fish right there may have been worth 10 on its own. That was a good fish. That was my personal best bowfin right there. 100%, biggest one I've caught. Barely hooked. Well, he was hooked on kind of the skin. I don't know, it's just really hard to hook these things. They've got such a bony mouth. You've really got to drive that hook home when you set the hook. Look, they're all back over that way. Dang it. Oh, that was a hit. He's on it. I got him. Got him. There's another one. There's another one, baby. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. It's a little guy. Let's change baits. Let's change baits. Should I count that one? I don't know. Let's change baits real quick. Throw that in there somewhere. Let's go. We've got this. We've got this. Come on. Check my hook. Check my line. Another thing that I've realized, when you set the hook on these fish, because you're setting the hook so hard, you've got to be ready for it. I don't know if you could see that from the footage, but I almost lost my rod right there. It almost came out of my hands. All right, come on. We can do this. One more fish. One more fish. We can do it. I know we can do it. Come on. I'm trying to think of a way to make this video a little bit more informative. I mean, everybody knows how good trees are for the environment, of course. They take in carbon dioxide, and during the process of photosynthesis, they put off oxygen, which is amazing. They provide shade in urban areas, populations of uh, mature standing trees. I think they can cool off the city like 15% cooler than a city without mature trees. I don't know, what else? What's some other crazy facts about trees? You guys know trees are great. Look how beautiful they are. In the fall, they get giant sequoias out in California and giant redwoods. Been growing for hundreds of years. Fish broke me off. That fish just broke me off, guys. Clean off. Let him have it too long. I can imagine that's probably what happened. Either I let him happen, have it too long or it frayed. It looks frayed. Could have been a crappy knot. I guess that's what you get for not checking your line. Or I just let him have it too long, I don't know. That makes me mad. Now I've gotta go back to my car. All right guys, let's try to get one more. Let's just try to get one more fish and then we're gonna have to call it quits. I think we can do it, I really do. Before I get soaking wet, let's just get one more fish. How about one more giant? I just saw him gulp air over there, way over there. Contemplating going back over there. Back over there, where I broke off last time. Maybe I should do it. Give it one more send and then call it quits because I'm getting soaked out here. But it's for the trees, man, we gotta do it, you know? Let's do it, let's just do it. I just spooked something, I'm pretty sure. I'm getting soaking wet right now. This is ridiculous, guys. I gotta get out of here, guys. It's really shallow over here anyway. All right, guys, this is the last spot before we call it quits. I'm getting absolutely drenched out here. Like I said, you can check out this at teamtrees.org. Another thing that I think I forgot to mention is that there's some kind of deal with the Arbor Day Foundation where they have made it possible to, you know, to make it to where it's $1 per tree. So it only costs a dollar and you're gonna plant a tree. And I don't have to tell you, you can just look up the facts as, as far as what one tree can do for a bunch of different species. 500, I think the, I think the, the number is 500 different organisms uh, per one tree, if that makes any sense. I'm just getting drenched and it's getting kind of cold to be honest with you guys. So that's pretty cool guys. We got I think what three bowfin? I think that one that I caught the second one probably counts as ten dollars itself because that's the biggest bowfin I've ever caught in my life. Uh, and just to show you that I'm gonna make the donations I'll go ahead and put that on the screen right now. Yeah, I guess that's really about it Like I said, there's a link in the description for the website if you guys want to go check it out And the goal is 20 million trees by January 1st of 2020. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video If you want to see more videos like this click in this playlist right here or check out this video right next to it or right underneath it Please hit the subscribe button if you like this video hit the like button. We'll see you guys on the next one Thank you.